Bienvenidos Bronx Arts. I'm your host, Gary. And I'm Heaven. Now it's time for our announcements. Our goal is to have 291 surveys completed. So far, we almost reached our goal for the savers re return. Here's a little board for each section. Did you know that March is National Nutrition Month? That's crazy. National Nutrition Month is an annual campaign created 50 years ago in 1973. During the month of March, everyone is invited to learn about making informed food choices and making healthful eating and physical activity habits. This, year, this, this year's theme is Fuel for the Future. Eating with sustainability in mind is a tasty way to nourish ourselves during each phase of life and protect the environment. Here are some tips to help you lead a healthy lifestyle. Eat breakfast, regular, regular physical activity. Children and teens should, be, should get 60 or more minutes of physical activity per day. The adults, at least two hours and 30 minutes per week. You don't have to hit the gym. Take walks after dinner or put music and dance at home. And read the nutrition facts can help you choose foods and drinks to meet your nutrition needs. The clock is ticking. Our early day is now. It's only 13 school days away. April 19th, we are ready for you. Now it's time for the quote of the day. Keep looking up. That's the secret of life. Charlie Brown. Now here's our woman's history of the day. Hi, Bronx Arts. Today we are doing something a little different for our woman's history of the day. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Celia Cruz was a Cuban singer and the most popular Latin artist of the 20th century. She was known internationally as the Queen of Salsa, La Guarachera de Cuba, as well as the Queen of Latin Music. An ambassador for the variety and vitality of the music of her native Havana. And after the Cuban Revolution, she became a symbol of artistic freedom for Cuban American exiles. Through a formidable work ethic, Celia rose to the very top in her genre, that was traditionally male-dominated. During July 1960, following the revolution in Cuba, Celia, with her band La Sonora Matancera, decided to settle in the United States of America. Fidel Castro vowed that none of the artists would ever be allowed back to Cuba. Celia attempted to return when her mother died in 1962, but was not granted government permission. After she died in 2003, even though her music was officially prohibited for over 40 years, many Cubans in the islands saw the disappearance of the biggest ambassador of Cuban music. And the legend of Celia Cruz remains with us. That's all for today, Mom Sarge. Have a fantastic Friday. Love y'all. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay!